Hello everybody, I hope you're having an amazing day and I would like to share a little unpackaging with you guys. The unboxing knife is going to be my Doug Ritter RSK MKG2 and whatnot, whatever the hell the name is. This is the Magna Cut and wonderfully, wonderfully machined carbon fiber. This thing is so sick. I've been using this at work nonstop. It's a wonderful, wonderful knife. Um, I just wish, honestly, it was a little bit smaller <laughs> because I have been getting some looks here and there at work for using such a large tool, but whatever. The action on it is getting a little crunchy on me for some reason, so I'm just going to take it apart to uh, clean it out and see what's up. But that edge is just ridiculous on it. Uh, this is coming from the Knife Joker, and this is actually the second knife that I am purchasing from them. Um, I believe the first knife I ever got from the Knife Joker was my recently sold on NAF sale. Um, it was my Para 3 Lightweight CPM S90V and teal handles. It was a wonderful knife. It, I just sold it because I just didn't use it really much anymore. But so these are some goodies, a little pen, a card, the knife joker. Cool, cool. Sticker. I think these are new stickers. I do enjoy some good stickers. Here's his card. Travis. This guy is legit. I believe I've chatted with him a couple times on Instagram. And he's all for it. He's a knife nut through and through. And uh, it's always a pleasure doing business with him. This is a lot of freaking paper. Oh my God. But you know what? Christmas is right around the corner. I'm selling knives here and there on map sale. Um, <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> Ooh, purple. That's cool. The other one that I have was, um, I think it was green or, or blue, possibly. This is nice. I'll keep that one. Alrighty. It's Spyderco. And this is the first one that I will ever be experiencing. This is the um, Little Native. And this is an exclusive version. This is the, I believe it's Crewwear. <laughs> all right yeah so this is forest green g10 this is some rough stuff feels pretty darn good nice blacked out pivot clip liners and blade let's give this little guy a flick perfect 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 wouldn't expect anything less from the Golden Colorado Earth, of course. <laughs> the Golden Colorado Factory. Nice. Some skeletonizing in there. It looks like nothing too crazy. This knife is on washers, like almost all their models. And yeah, CPM Crewer. This is the first knife and only knife in my collection that has Crewer. This little guy is running on the compression lock. And there's a hair bit of stick, but at least with my experience and uh, DLC coated spider codes, they have a little bit of stick to them. So hopefully that'll work itself out. The detent is very light. Honestly, maybe a little. Mm. I mean, it holds it in there. Maybe it's that light because of how small it is. You don't want to have to put so much force behind it that you end up flicking this thing across the freaking room. But yeah, check that little guy out. I will be linking down what I can in the description. This may or may not be available at the time that you're seeing this. But um, yeah, this guy is a... Pretty darn good, and that edge, consistent and beautiful. This is what you can expect from the Golden Colorado factory with Spyderco. So that is wonderful. So 
this little guy will probably see some scale swaps and stuff in the future. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to take this little guy to work. This is definitely going to be a pretty nice light to medium duty knife. Cool, cool. See the centering on that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a little bit to the show side scale. Not a big deal. I can adjust that. Eventually, it'll work itself out. Cool, cool. Well, if you like what you guys see here, go ahead, like, and subscribe. If you haven't, I'd really appreciate it. And with that, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.